Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about the choice which every single player have to make uh, throughout the game. Does not really matter if you are free-to-play player uh, or pay-to-win player, there is always a one important choice regarding factions, which faction should you run. Uh, there is like a couple of uh, ways uh, to decide why and when to choose the faction. First of all, I will speak about by myself. I, I started thinking about the faction change whenever I decided to have a one main uh, unit type, which is marksman. Depending on you, whichever playstyle you are playing, maybe you are a cavalry player, maybe you are a mage player, and maybe you are a marksman player like me, you always have to make this choice in order to have a full benefit of your main hero type. Especially uh, whenever you are a free-to-play player, you have to choose one legion type and invest all of your resources, your gems, your tokens, to have at least one uh, unit type which is good in the battlefield. Uh, after the addition of the talents uh, where we have, we can specialize uh, the legion types in a much better way. And we have to choose, for example, for the range assault. You either go are going for the mage type of gameplay or marksman. For battlefield domination, we have uh, infantry playstyle or cavalry playstyle. So here again, we are having some choices. And depending on your main unit type, main heroes, which you have already invested, the hero pairs, you should choose the exact faction for that hero type. For example, which uh, uh, unit types are good with which factions? For Sprig Wonders, it is pretty clear that cavalry units are great, uh, especially because of uh, the special units. The Forest Eagles are cavalry melee flying units, and the cavalrys for the uh, wilder for the Spring Wardens are ranged uh, marksmen, right? But it's cavalry. So if you are in general a uh, Cavs player who would like to have a lot of march speed running it around, uh, you would happily bring uh, Spring Warden as your main faction. Also Legion march speed again, additional buff for the cavalry units and elixir production speed that's for the late game wars. Uh, for the free-to-play players, I would not recommend to choose the Spring Wardens uh, as the main faction. As a, as a beginning, for a beginners, whenever you are choosing the faction, doesn't really matter which faction you will choose, uh, because you will have 10,000 uh, uh, gems uh, costed item, which will help you to change the faction whenever you want. At first, you, want, you need to fall in love with the game, understand how everything works, and then you can choose the, the path which you're gonna follow. So Spring Wardens are mainly for the Cavalry players, uh, League of Order are mainly for Mage players, and this is the faction I would recommend almost everybody who is starting the game uh, to choose. Uh, some Overlord Gathering Speed, some Legion uh, Magic Defense, and the amazing hero which is Walder. And of course, uh, special units are Celestials, they are Magic Ranged Flying Units. Another uh, dimension that uh, the League of Orders are especially good as a mage players, and in general, uh, mages are more accessible for effort to play players because you can play around with the range. And the Wilderbergs, um, like especially, it's pretty awkward that uh, the main hero of the Wilderberg is actually infantry hero, but uh, Wilderbergs are marksmen. Uh, simply because of the Wyron Riders, uh, the marksman ranged flying units, special units. Uh, also, you are having Legion physical attack bonus, three uh, percent, and of course, destruction engineering is pretty useless in this game uh, so far. Uh, so, depending on your playstyle, depending on your gameplay, you are going to choose uh, the faction which you will be happily playing around. Right? Again, if you are cavalry, you will be Spring Warden. If you are League of Order, you will be uh, mages, and if you are Wilderberg, you will be um, marksman. As you can see, I am a Spring Warden player, uh, simply because whenever I started uh, the game, I thought Spring Warden was about archers. I, it gave me uh, Lord of the Rings uh, wipes, and like Gwenwin looks like Legolas, so it, it, my first thought was green, some elves, I thought it was about marksman. 
Uh, throughout the game, whenever I already in the season T, I ended playing it almost 11 months as a free-to-play player, I understood that Spring Wardens are not mainly a marksman faction. Uh, after the addition of the talents, uh, seasonal talents, uh, this hurts as one. When you have at least one range legion in battlefield, each additional range legion that enters the battle increases range legion's attack. And of course, long range warfare, these two skills made me decide that uh, I'm going to change faction uh, simply because I have already uh, the two legions, Nico and Kinara. I have uh, Sindrion and Fregor, I got lucky with Sindrion. And I would like to have third marksman legion, which will be of course Craig and Thea. And I will be running around only with ranged units because I'm a free-to-play player. And the only way for me to have fun in this game is to utilize the range. And my main job and my main aim is not to be the best or one of the best in this game. I just want to show you guys that even as free-to-play players, you, you can have a lot of fun in this game. Uh, and I'm the showcasing this by myself. Now, about the most important... Um, a moment i'm going to use my item which i got when i started the game and i'm i'm choosing to play with wilderberg it's pretty obvious already uh i want to utilize the wyvern riders seasonal talents i will have three marksman legions and i will try my best to use the range uh, in order to get uh, more merits finally uh, this is whenever you're gonna click on change faction uh, the archer's marksman does not really change, same stats. Uh, for the infantry, it's same, uh, nothing really changes. For mages, it's also same. And uh, the change will be, of course, with the cavalry units, because the Spring Warden's calves are um, like ranged units, and Wilderbergs are generally uh, the melee units. And, of course, one of the most important change on the Wyverns uh, are, is having more attack, uh, less HP, and, of course, less march speed, because, in general, cavalry units should have highest uh, march speed in the game. Uh, finally, uh, I'm changing the faction. It's, it's happening first time for me. Let's just click it. Uh, I want to see my town as a new town, and I hopefully I will be able to utilize my... Uh, have like three or four ranged units, additionally one mar one mage, and I will try my best to see how much fun I will uh, gather from the seasonal talents, which which like in my opinion gave this game another dimension. Uh, and yeah, finally, as you can see, uh, I changed to the Wilderberg. Now I'm going to have my uh, wyverns. And I will be running uh, Nico and Kinara, uh, Sindrion and Kragar, and uh, Craig and Thea. That's already three ranged units. And the, the first one will be Waldir and Dwellin. And I will be playing with the uh, like March Speed Gale of Step, uh, Hertz as one, uh, Long Range Warfare, and Suppress Fire. Uh, that's my gameplay, simply because from the beginning of this game I chose to play as a marksman. Uh, and uh, I think playing as a marksman main, Wilderberg is the best faction. And uh, to have uh, more fun in the game uh, after the seasonal talents, this tree is my favorite. So I want to utilize the full potential of seasonal talents. For the future, maybe seasonal talents will be removed and next season will be something else. But I'm sure that Wilderberg is a marksman uh, faction. If you are well, if you are marksman player also, I would highly recommend to change to Wilderberg. I know they does not look uh, much better than uh, Spring Warden or League of Order purely on on the graphics on purely uh, the, the theme. But maybe some people like this brutalic style. Uh, I'm more I more enjoyed the Spring Wardens. That's why I chose to play it the first time. Uh, this is all, uh, all I wanted to say. The choice of the changing faction should, should be thought about it, right? It's a big decision. As a free-to-play player, you would like to spend 10,000 gems on something else. So, until you're gonna ch change the faction, think twice. Uh, think what's your gameplay. Think what kind of heroes you have. Think what kind of artifacts you have. Uh, understand how much troops you have. Are you able to uh, have enough uh, marksmen... Uh, units to have couple of legions which i currently have 
um, and then make your decision. I hope you are enjoying the content I'm trying to make. Um, if you do, press like, subscribe, share. Uh, it always gives me more and more motivation to do more content. Uh, of course, uh, the changing of this faction was a big thought for me. I was thinking like whole season because I don't want to spend 10,000 more gems uh, in order to change the faction again. Uh, of course, I, I'm expecting more factions in this game. We still need to have infantry main faction, uh, which I think, in my opinion, will be the dwarves, uh, which we have kind of got teased uh, in the loading screens and such. So let's wait what's going to be the future of the game. So far, I'm enjoying, uh, I'm having a lot of fun as a free-to-play player, even after almost playing this game for one year. Uh, hopefully, I will have soon my first legendary awakened hero, which is Inara. Uh, and uh, it will be a big, big uh, celebration for me because that's the only le legendary hero where I have been spending my uh, tokens. Uh, and as you should already know, I have not even spent a single dollar in this game in order to receive Lilia or any other bundles. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video will help your progression throughout the game. Uh, like I, I take this video because I already gathered enough information and enough experience in this game to think about different stuff until I'm gonna make a decision. That's why this is the main idea of my channel and I hope you are uh, I am helping you in order to understand the information which this game is giving us. Thanks for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day, night or morning, depending wherever you are. I'm going to continue making the videos uh, like since I have been doing it almost one year. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very, very soon.